Hey guys, I'm Tommy, a developer advocate at Linode. In this video, we're going to be looking into migrating a Postgres database to a managed database. So we're going to be taking a database that you have on your computer and migrating it to a managed database on Linode. So before we get started, Linode offers a 60 day $100 credit for you to follow along and you can check that out in the description below. And please subscribe and drop a comment on what video you want us to cover next. Let's get started. So the first thing we need to have is our source database and our target database. So our source database is the original database which we want to migrate and the target database is the new database replacement that we want to migrate to. And in this video, we are talking about the managed database on the Linux platform. So right here, my source database is this PostgreSQL. My source database is this Postgres database right here. As you can see, it has the name of DJ app. That is the name of the database. And since we know we have that, you can see that it has just two rows right here. So this is what I'm going to migrate to the manage database on Linode. So now I can see that I have my source database, right? The next thing we need to do is to create our target database. So we want to log into Linode. Once you log into Linode, you want to click on create and then click on database. So once you click on database, we want to have a cluster name. So let's just say DJ cluster. And for the database engine, let's pick Postgres and let's pick the latest version. And for the region, you should pick a region that is closest to you or in your location. So I'm going to pick London, UK. And for this, I'm going to pick the most basic plan, which is dedicated for GB. And for the amount of nodes, I'm going to pick three nodes in here. And this avoids downtime during like upgrades and maintenance. So that's the advantage of having more nodes. And the next thing we want to do is to actually add our IP address. Now, this is a very good feature because it makes our database cluster more secure. So we're going to add our IP address. So only us is authorized to access this cluster. So to get your data, your IP address is very easy. What you need to do is just go to Google and type what is my IP. And it's going to give you your IP address. So then you're going to copy that. Then you can close this up. And they're just going to paste that in there. So once you paste that in there, click on create database cluster. Now this takes a while. It takes about 30 minutes to create. But prior to this video, I already created a demo cluster database cluster. So we're going to use that in this video. So if I click on this, you're going to see that it gives us all the details we need for our connection. So as if you come right here, you can see that we have this connection details. Now this is all we need. Once we have this, we can move on to the next step. Now, the next thing we want to do is to come into our source database or our initial database and back it up. So we want to back up this database. Once we back it up, then we're going to migrate the backup onto this new database that we created on Linode. So to back up the database, we're going to use some command lines. If I scroll down here on this documentation, right here, you can see that it tells us to export database rows. Now we're just going to copy this command and we're going to come into our terminal and we're going to paste that command. But before you paste it, you need to make sure you need to know like the directory you are in. So we want to be in a directory where we can access the files that are going to be created once we create this backup. So I'm going to, let's say, go into document and in document, I'm going to make a new directory and I'll call this um, DJ app backup. Then I'm going to go into DJ app backup. So now this is an empty folder and let me just clear that up. Now we can run this particular command line and what this does, it backs up the rows. If we come in here, you can see that it says export database row. So it exports that for us into a file named rows.backup. The only thing we need to change in here is to change the username and as default or for most Postgres QR users, the default is always Postgres. And for me, it's also Postgres. So if you change yours, what you just need to do is to come in here and change that user name. 
to Postgres. So that's going to do all the work for you. And after this, we actually want to add you Postgres. So this is just to give us the access to be able to use this as the Postgres user. So once I click enter, it's going to ask for the password for this Postgres. Now this password is asking for is the password you basically use to log into PG admin or log into Postgres on your computer. So when you install Postgres, they usually ask for you to set a password. So that is the password it's asking for right now. I'm just going to type in that password. And once we type that password, it should have backed that up. If I press LS, you can see now that I have a file named rows.backup. Now that rows has been backed up. Next thing we want to back up, we want to export the actual database. So we're going to copy all of this the same way we did it. Come to our terminal and paste all of that. So right here, we want to add you Postgres, just the same way we did. And in the username, we want to change that to Postgres again. And after changing that to Postgres, right here in DB name, that's basically saying the database name. What we want to do is to come back here and we want to write DJ app. That is the name of the database. So you should know the name of your database that you want to back up. So once we have all of this, this should do the work and we should just click enter. If you ask for the password again, I'm just going to input that. And as you can see, it's saving all of that. It backs up, backed up everything for us. If I type LS, you can now see that I have another file named database.backup. So we've been able to back up this database. The next thing we want to do is to now migrate this database that we backed up onto our managed database on Linode. So we're going to come back in here actually. So this is our managed database, right? But then we're also going to use a command that is going to allow us to back up those database back in here. So because we allowed our IP address to be able to access this database, we can basically do everything from our command line on this, my computer. What I can do right now is to come back in here and you can see it says import to target money database. That's what we want to do. So I'm just going to copy all of this and I'm going to come back in here and paste it, but we're going to change a few stuff. So what we're going to change, if I come in here, where it says username, I'm going to come here and input this username. Which is limp Postgres. And for the host, I'm also going to come back into the connection details and copy the host. I'm going to paste that. So we have the host, we have the username. Now we can hit enter. So now it's going to ask for the password for this and we're just going to come in here click on show password it's going to show that and then we're going to copy it we'll come back here we paste that and hit enter so you can see that it created the role successfully and everything is working so let's just click clear to clear this up a little bit so the next thing we're going to do is to come in here and create our database so we're going to create the, date, the database that we add right here, we're going to create it in this database cluster. So we're just going to copy this, the first command and paste it in here. So what this does is that it, if there's already a database that has the same name as what we want to import, then it should first delete that database. So what we're going to do is to change database name to our database name, which is DJ app. And if we come back in here, we're also going to do the same thing by replacing the username with the username in the connection details. So if we come in here, this is the username. We're going to copy that. We're just going to paste that in there. And for the host, we're going to do exactly the same thing. So if I come here to host, copy, I'm going to paste that in there. And then it's going to ask me for the password. I'm going to paste that and hit enter. So it says database DJ app does not exist. It's keeping drop database. This is because this is a new cluster. We haven't created any database on it before. So it didn't see any database named DJ app, but now we're going to create a database named DJ app. So if I come here and just copy this command, we're going to do exactly the same thing. Paste it here where we have database name. 
we're gonna do DJ app and then we're gonna scroll all the way to the username again copy the username from here and we're gonna paste that in there and for the host also copy the username and then we're gonna paste the host in there also so now we're gonna click enter it asks for the password we copy the password and boom it's created that database so that database is now created what we need to do now is to import our database file so the database we backed up we're going to import it copy up this command line come back here and paste that so the database name is dj app and we're going to come here to the user again I'm going to copy the user and then to the host we're also going to copy and paste the host just like we've been doing so copy the host paste it so it says pg restore connecting to database for restore now we need to copy the password we paste it hit enter boom everything now works successfully so as you can see it says creating password and processing data for table so everything right here has been backed up successfully now we can try to verify if this has actually been backed up to do this we can actually import this database right here in our pg admin so we can see all the data all the database and all the tables we have in there so let's do that to you know verify so for us to do this we're just going to collapse this Postgres and we're actually going to create a new server so we're going to register new server and what we're going to do let's just say Linode Linode demo and right here in connection we're going to do the same thing we're going to paste in here the host we're going to leave the port the same way because that's the port right here we are going to need the password And we are going to need the username so this is what we need and we're going to click save so now that we have saved let's try to open this up so as you can see now we have a new database in this Linode demo basically in this database cluster named DJ app and if we come here you can see that we have a table named table data so if I try to view this table let's view all rows you're going to see that it's going to have the same data as the initial or as a source database so as you can see that's exactly the same thing from the source database which we imported so if i open up this postgresql and come back to this dj app in here if i open up table data from here and view all rows you're going to see that it's going to be the same so everything we imported from the source database is now in the Linode demo database also. So that's all for this video. I hope you understood everything we did in this video. And if you did, please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. And also drop a comment to tell us what video or what topic you want us to cover next. Thank you for watching and bye for now.